Right. Tangent from a point outside the curve. The first thing you need, lads, is your focal points. Right, so this is extra revision. To get your focal points, it's half your major, and you strike it from the top of your minor axis. It's the same on both sides, so left and right hand side. So we label those as focal point one and two. Now I've marked off point P here. That could be any location. Okay, it probably will be uh, labelled in the, in the actual question, the dimensions of it or wherever else. I've marked off point P here. So, the first thing to do, this is all with your compass. Get your compass at point P and go to the focal point that is closest to that point, which is F2 in this case. Strike a large arc, okay, top and bottom. The next thing to do is get the length of our major axis with our compass. Okay, stretch it out. Take that length and strike it from the focal point that's furthest away from point P. And it should cross over your first arc at two points, top and bottom. Those two points are going to be joined back to the focal point that's furthest away, which is F1. And they're going to cut the ellipse. Now, where they cut the ellipse is the point of contact of the tangent that we're going to draw. You'll notice that there's two of them. That's obviously because we could have a tangent going downwards or we could have a tangent going across like that. So you have two options. You obviously decide which one it is according to your question. So I'll draw a tangent going across the top of the ellipse. So this is going to be the point of contact, the exact point of contact. Label it because that's what they're looking for. And then it's just a case of joining the dots together. So your point of contact up to point P and that's your tangent. All right, so we all clear on that? Right, that's for a point outside the curve. The other type of tangent that can come up is if you're given a point on the curve. So what I'll do is I'll go to the bottom here and I'll just mark off a random point and we call it point X. So what I have to do is I have to draw a tangent to my ellipse that's in contact with point X. In this case, what you do is, again, you need your focal points. So the focal points are very important here. Take your focal points, and both of them have to pass through point X. And you continue them on when they're going through point X. So pass them through, and out the other side. Do the same for F2, pass it through X, out the other side. What you have to do then is bisect the angle between those two lines. Now you obviously bisect the angle according to what direction you want your tangent to go in. So if I want my tangent to be going alongside like that, I'm obviously bisecting either this angle or the one on the right hand side, it doesn't matter. Bisecting an angle, you should be clear on that, use your compass for that method. And when you bisect it, you pass it through point X. And that's your tangent. Okay. So there are the two different types that can come up. The one that's outside the curve, the point is outside the curve, and the one where the point is on the curve. Right? So any questions with that? No? I think we're okay.